going back and forth between Boston and Cleveland and being around uh, the practices of being around everybody, uh, the chatter that maybe you have picked up. Is it safe to say that not only is obviously the season on the line for the Cavs, but LeBron's second tenure in Cleveland is on the line tonight as well? Yeah, I'm not so sure. I don't, you know, I don't think he, he has a big circle that he confides in. So I think a lot of it, if you hear it, is just rumor and innuendo that's not based on anything uh, upon fact. So I would look at it like, where can he go and make a max salary where he has a better chance to win? And I don't have a place that I would say that's possible. Uh, and maybe one opens up. Uh, but I think he, one thing I do know, you know, he, he says, or, and every athlete says this right now, like um, when asked about their future, I haven't given it one bit of thought. And again, if there was a lie detector test attached, that thing would be beeping because it's human nature. You're going to definitely think about what's in your future. And you're, you're, you have the ability as a professional to do both, to be locked in on the future or locked in on the present and also have given some thought to the to the future. So I'm sure he knows what he wants to do, but I don't think outside of a very few close friends, anyone really has a good idea of what it is. Especially when you have wife and kids who who might be saying, you know, what, what are you thinking? Like, where do you think we'll be in, right, where do you, in September I mean, to go to school? Them, right, exactly. I, I, right. Yeah. And I, I think he has, you know, I, I, I think he has uh, at least one child that's approaching high school um, age. And so, you know, that's when it, to me, it becomes, you know, trickier and trickier, um, because he's supposed to be a really good player and you want to make it such that he has his best chance of success as well. Well, and I, and I don't, you know, while we're just on the subject to just go deeper into it, let's say remove the max contract out of it, Jeff. I mean, he's got money. Uh, he's got, uh, his, his, he's, he's got a whole second act once he's done with football already set up, up and running with him and Maverick Carter. Where, where do you think if he just removes Max contract from is the best spot for him to win? Well, to win? Yeah. It's what, that, that's pretty Boston? much all he needs left. Boston? <laughs> well, that would take him. That would take you him. Know, and, well, I, I don't think anybody wouldn't take him if you take the contract out of it. I mean, if, if LeBron James, and, and it's just, are you better with his, ta- with his game and talent and all that comes with James? Yeah, I mean, he could go to all 30 teams. So I think his best chances would be to win, would be to go to Golden State, would be to go to Boston, would be to go to Houston. Um, Philly would be another one. Uh, So, yeah, I mean, the the teams that are, you know, that have younger bases that you could add his greatness to, um, why not? Let's have James go to – Golden State and give no one a chance for for the foreseeable future. You, know? you could get a timeshare there in the Oakland, yeah, and San exactly. Francisco area, Jeff. You, knowing you'll be there every single June. Uh, do you last one for you? Then or do you think you will be in uh, in Boston on Memorial Day? Do you think that's going to happen? Um, I waking up there after a game. Yeah, Sunday. you think I'm you'll be there think, on Sunday? Yeah, I, I think they're going to win tonight here. Um, I thought they would win in five. Mm-hmm. Cleveland, to me, has done a good job of getting it here to the sixth game. Uh, the way they've played at home, I wouldn't be surprised at all if Cleveland got it to a seventh game. And if they do get it to a seventh game, even though they've been you know, hammered pretty good in all three games on the road, to think that LeBron James and that team couldn't muster up one great road game uh, would be silly. So I think Boston, uh, their approach – just like Houston's approach, better be, let's end it now. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern, on Audience.